Hi, Steve Anderson here with WordCamper News. Thank you for joining us for the last segment of the five things you need to know before you buy an RV. During this last segment, Mr. Cooper is going to be sharing with, with you the fifth thing that you need to be aware of, and that is to learn how things work, to get a better understanding and a confidence so that when you go about buying and going through that purchase process, you have a great understanding and chances are you're going to know more about the RV than the salesperson that's presenting it to you. So please take some time to sit back, listen up as Mr. Cooper closes out this five things you need to know series as he shares number five, learn how things work. Number five, you need to learn how things work because knowledge is power. And let me just tell you, I know this, I have seen this over and over again. This information, this knowledge about how this unit works, you don't have to be Teddy the mechanic, but if you know how this thing works, it's gonna make a lot of your fear goes away. Now, let me say this to the solos and particularly to you women. Now guys, you can, just, you can listen if you want to, but this is directed to ladies. Ladies, you guys are some of the gutsiest people I have ever met. How many of you ladies maybe lost a partner and you decided, I'm still gonna live this lifestyle, I wanna go do it. But what I find is, is that those of you that educate yourself, you're out there traveling and experiencing things, hanging out with others, but you're not only helping yourself, but you're helping those also others as well. You run your small business on the side. I know some ladies that that's exactly what they do. Uh, one group of ladies I know, they do nothing but RV inspections. And they kind of specialized in other ladies because they said, we understand where these ladies are coming from. So ladies, this lifestyle is for you. If there's been times in your life you wish you could have done things, but you've had to raise your family, you've had all these other things going on, you know, your parents, you know, you've lost your parents, fine, and I won't say finally, but you know, you're now not having to be the main caregiver. Now you have an opportunity to take care of and do some things yourself. The training, the education is where I'm gonna strongly recommend you, okay? Because here's the thing, 80% of the things that are gonna go wrong with these RVs are gonna be easy to access and easy to fix. I mean, this law has proven itself out over and over again. I mean, how easy is it, maybe I should use the word, how hard is it to go over there and open up their electrical panel box, because now you know where it's at, and turn off the circuit breaker and turn the circuit breaker back on. So basically, reboot that circuit breaker panel box and everything starts working again. Because it tripped, but yet it didn't look like it had tripped. The little lever doesn't, in the off position, but internally it had. Or how about the ground fault circuit interrupter in the bathroom or in the kitchen? Because when those trip, usually what happens is say, if it's in the bathroom, it's gonna take out, it's gonna take out the receptacles in the bathroom. It's also gonna probably take out the receptacles in the kitchen. And it's gonna take out some receptacles outside. And for whatever reason, it always seems to be, it also knocks out the television and stereo system as well. Satellite system, all that config, the, the entertainment stuff. All you have to do is go into that bathroom or that kitchen, wherever that GFCI is, and just push that reset button, and voila, everything comes on. And so you don't have to call somebody. You don't have to wait three or four weeks to get this thing in the shop, and then they just go over there and reset it. When I've worked as a service manager, I used to be amazed at the work that we would get, and it was so simple. I mean, the technician would be in there. It'd take him longer to diagnose it would be to fix it. And I'm looking at these things thinking, they could have done this. The consumer could have done this had they just known how to maintain their water heater, how to maintain their furnace, their refrigerator, and not have to pay a service call or maybe have to pay somebody to put this in the shop and wait on it till they could get to it. You and I can do these things if you'll just learn how. If somebody will just show you how, and that's what we do, okay? Now, I'm so passionate about this because, guys, I have seen it transition, uh, translate to helping people and how it transforms people because they now have confidence in what they're doing. Yeah, they're a little jittery in class, but once they put, start putting their hands on the equipment and they start working on things, whether they're working on their rig or working on somebody else's rig or the school's rigs, once you start seeing how it works, it's how you look at it and they say, that's all there is to this? Yeah, it's easy to access to somebody easy to fix if somebody would just show you how. Now, what we did, we came off the road, mm, it's gonna be, 
about two and a half years ago, we, we'd we been looking for an RV park because we needed to do more in-depth training. We were able to teach people how to be the master of the RV, and, and this is the core class that a lot of dealerships would send their technicians to us for. This is the core class that the inspectors learn, teaching you everything about how the systems work, the electrical systems, the propane, the water, the appliances, some of the exterior, all of those different things. If you understand how it all ties together, you can work your way through a lot of these problems. So what happened was is that we kept finding these campgrounds were being bought out by these big investment companies and the investment company would change it from a where you could stay for a day or a week to where now they wanted people to stay a month, six months or a year because they see a fixed income. So we begin to start losing places that we could go. I mean, we might have a place set up in Arizona that we'd go and do two weeks worth of training where we'd show up the next week or the next year and the manager had been there before, was not there. They didn't know anything about our deposit. And next thing you know, you're over here scrambling, trying to find enough sites for people to stay in, as well as a room that you can have your class. So we had that happen to us numerous times. It's just like, this cannot go on. So we bought an RV park in Athens, Texas, which is outside of Dallas, southeast of downtown Dallas, 72 miles to be exact, downtown Dallas. And we bought this RV park so we could build a training center. Well, as it turned out, I still had a lot of connections and relationships with the Texas RV Association, and they told us that Cooper, please put this training program together. We have nothing available to us other than a little bit of stuff taking place in Florida, and we can't afford for those guys to be gone for 10 weeks. Help us. So our agreement was we would build a training facility to where we could run technicians through. We started having guys that, that are retiring or maybe people are making a career change to say, hey, I'm in my 30s, I'm in my 40s, 50s, I want to make a career change. And so they started to become mobile techs. We had people say, hey, I want to develop an RV inspection business so I can, uh, and, and even some guys are doing, and ladies are doing both, be an inspector and a technician so they can travel the road and do all kinds of things. And it works. You can have a business for on your own and take care of it. And so I have seen people be successful. And I love when we get the testimonials back from guys and they just talk about the story of, you know, I've got one guy out in West Texas and he told me, he said, Cooper, I now have four service trucks that I'm running. He said, I've got a business, all my equipment's paid for. And I'm going in the process of buying, I think it's like 12 acres of ground. I've got to put me a shop in. And he says, all because I learned how to work on RVs. And he said, it's, because from what I had been doing, he was doing building maintenance in these high rise apartments and, and condos up in uh, outside of Chicago. And he just told me, he said, I got tired of the winters. I need to do something different. And so he came, went through the school. As a matter of fact, we even use him for one of our instructors. He's that good. But he's one of those individuals that really applied himself. And that's what I encourage you to do. You'll be able to help yourself, but you'll be able to help others as well. Now, Here's what, the, here's what the building looks like. Let me just tell you, this is not some old greasy garage. You can see where we've got the service bays, we've got units. These are units that the dealers, you see these two trailers, that Flagstaff and then I go on the right, both of those, actually we had three of them total, that were given to us by dealers. These were brand new units, had never been titled. Wasn't anything wrong with them. And like one dealer told me, said, look, I want to make sure that when I send my technicians to you, and I'm going to be sending a bunch of them because they've got multiple locations, I want my guys to be able to learn. And I'm willing to give these to the school. Of course, I'll get a tax break for it, but I want my guys to work on the latest, greatest stuff. We also went out and bought uh, some trailers from the GSA. You know, we'd had that hurricane down along Houston, and they had a lot of units sitting out on the lot that never were lived in. And, of course, they put them up to auction. We went and bought seven of them. So that way we would have enough equipment for people to work on because you need to be able to work on it. Now, on the right-hand side here, now this is a cool thing. You see that balcony up there? What we do is, is that on IGO, on that IGO, that trailer that you see right there on the right-hand side, what happens is, is that the instructor gets up on the roof and the students get up on the balcony and they can watch what's going on. He's got a GoPro camera and he shoots that signal. See that television in the top right-hand corner up there? You see the green noodles so they don't bump their head on the I-beam. But you see that television? He beams the signal over there to that television and they can see up close what he's looking and pointing at. So they can observe from the balcony and they can 
watch on the television what he's doing. We use that same GoPro camera inside the RVs or up underneath, shine a light up in there and show what's going on so that way the students can sit in a classroom or even around the trailers, around the units and see what's going on while they're waiting their turn to learn how to do propane leak tests because you only get so many people inside the kitchen. So if you got 20 people, maybe you only get five at a time. Well, we're having that GoPro camera and those televisions. You can beam that signal out and they can watch what they're going to have to do when it comes their turn. Now, we've got these huge classrooms. Now, that's Howard Jars. He's uh, one of our past students, as a matter of fact. He and his wife, you can see her sitting right to his right, uh, Pam, they teach the advanced inspector class. And that's what this course is. And if you'll see, there's a lot of couples in here. A lot of couples and what we recommend is is that you have a partner that helps you with the inspection because it goes so much easier typically one of you is good with software and one of you is good doing the inspection and they tag team together and do these inspections a lot of these folks are also mobile tech so they can do both now there is a couple of caveats there that you have to deal with um, if you've done an inspection on an RV, you cannot work on it for one year. That's one of the things with the code of ethics because we've got to be able to keep it separate. But that doesn't mean that you can't have both skills and do both things while you're on the road. Now the reflection of what you're seeing here is we got all these observation windows. See those in the back? And I'm looking through a window of the, one of the doors and you can see the reflection of the, uh, the stairway going upstairs. So the canopy's up above. Now, this class, was we had to move it to the outside bay area because it was so big, the classroom was full, and they had all these. And Lippard, the people that build most of the frames, gave us these frames. Now, we did a little horse trading with them. They needed a place to train. They only have two places that they have equipment that you can put your hands on it. One is at their factory, and one happens to be in Athens, Texas. Yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, we just finished a class on exterior and we use the heck out of these things, showing people how the hydraulics work, how the leveling systems work, how to program, all these different things. They sent these frames to us and we assembled them because I mean, they were just frames, axles, and we uh, parts and we put all the parts and everything together. But what they're doing is they're having a, a class right now and that's what they're talking about is the exterior systems on these units, the leveling, si the leveling system. Now, there's two ways that you can start your training two ways to get it kicked off and I know with what we're going through with this shut shut in it's kind of it's kind of difficult but we've got five day live, live classes so you can come and spend five days with us and we will take you through the RV maintenance the basic piece the one that will help you get started but now you say Cooper I really want to do this well off of this five days, then we have offer classes that are four days at a time. Four days training nothing but advanced air conditioners. Four days with refrigerators. Four days with furnaces, water heaters. Four days with exterior. And that's what those guys were looking at or working on when you were looking at that picture a while ago. They were in their training of four days for the exterior systems. And we brought those frames in for them. So what happens is when you go through that track, you can get your certification as an RV technician if you go through the live piece. But you say, I can't get you know jobs in the way or I can't leave where I'm at right now. That's okay. We have what we call the home study option. We can either send you the flash drive like what you're seeing right here. We'll send you the flash drive that's got all of the classes on it. We have recorded the classes. These are live classes. You'll hear the students. You'll hear tables, chairs squeaking, and sometimes audio is not as great as I'd like it to be because it's bouncing off the metal roof of this building. Or Sometimes you can even hear it raining. <laughs> but we took the best of the best, and we put it on the thumb drive, that flash drive for you. Gave you the same books put it in a package and we mail it to you. That's one version. Now in that packet is a $300 coupon. And that $300 coupon gives you the ability to come and take the live class and take so you can knock $300 off of the live class. So that way, if you say, you know, I've really learned a lot, but I want to learn more. I want to get my hands on more equipment. Well, you can come here and we can do it for $300 less because I'm going to get you to use your coupon. And quite honestly, it was set up that way. So that way you can take advantage of the situation with it. Now, if you're one of those individuals that has good internet, we also have the home study option online. So you don't have to wait for it to come to you. I mean, you can purchase it 
and in just a few minutes later, they can have you set up in the system where you go in, you sign in with a password and all, and you're seeing the same videos, doing the same homework, because I've got homework assignments I want you to go out and do. If you don't own an RV, don't panic. This is great because we you're not ruined out there is what I'm trying to say, really. If you if you come to us and you, this is your first experience, learn how that works so that way when you go shopping for RVs, you know what you're looking for. Now, you take this home study option, then you can come over and then you can take the advanced classes if you want to. If you want to take the advanced inspector class, like with Howard and Pam that I was showing you a while ago, this course, either one of these courses will get you there because this is the foundation. This is kind of like English 101 when you were in college, remember? You had pre-med, pre-law, psychiatrists, everybody, uh, pre-vet, you know, whatever was in that class with you in English 101. It's the same thing here with this RV maintenance course. It's the core, it's the foundation, and you gotta get that under your belt. A lot of people never go any further than this, and that's great, that's great, because you've learned what you need so you can help yourself and help others, and that's what we wanna do. I mean. I've gotten this point in my life, I've owned all the stuff. I've owned the trucks, the cars, the boats, whoopee-doo, whoopee-doo. It's just more stuff to take care of. My passion, my thought about this whole thing is, is that I love to see the light come on with people when it starts making sense to them. Because what happens is you're going to come to us and you're going to have these islands of knowledge. Things make sense here and here and here, but somehow or another you're not getting it. But if we can spend some time with you, we can help you build some of those bridges over and, and bridge those islands of knowledge together. Maybe give you one or two pieces that ties it all together, and then I'll be say, I got it. I got, oh, man, that's what they've been talking about. And a lot of times, all you need to do is to see it, touch it, put your hands on and smell it, and just see how this thing works. And then all of a sudden, it makes sense. And not only does it change you, but it changes the people that you're associated with. So please take a look at this. In times that we're going through right now, some of you are being downsized, some of you are having to make some career changes. This might be a career change. Lady E and I were having lunch yesterday and she was sharing with me the number of phone calls and the emails that she's getting. And she was sharing with me, she said, Cooper, I am amazed at how many people are contacting saying, look, I've been doing this job for 20 years and I'm finding out it's going away. Or maybe they've cut my hours back. Or maybe, I, I think she said she had one guy tell him, said, I've spent time with my family and I've reacquainted my, myself with my family and I don't want to lose that. And so folks, take a look at this. Go over and take a look at the website. The NRVTA stands for National RV Training Academy. Take a look at the courses. If you've got questions, Send us an email at info at NRVTA or give us a call. We're going to help you on this one. Now, let me also g give you a heads up. It may be that you can't come next week, next month, whatever. That's okay. You can reserve. Eveda, Lady E is already working on the calendar for 2021 and beyond. And so you can go ahead and set yourself up because we do have to cap the classes and we've already had to do that. We've already had to turn some people away and say, I'm sorry, it's going to, you have to get the next class because this one's full. And so if you want to go ahead and reserve a site, no problem or a spot for you. And like Lady E will tell them, say, look, you don't have to pay for it all right now. Maybe your budget's not there and that's okay. Put this much down and just pay it out between now and the time you come to class. All we ask is that it be paid for when you come to class. That's all. And so that way we know, what, you know how many students we're going to have. We know how many we can plan. Now, let me back up here for just a moment. Let me share something with you that I want to give you some insight. In this live class, you come and you take that class. And when you leave, you have one year to come back and take that class again for free. We call that the do-over. Now, what we have found is, is that if I can get you back in this class again, your retention of the material is so much better. But then usually what's going to happen, you're going to say, you know what, I've been out there kicking around. I really need to do, take this UX course. I need to take this air conditioner course. Or I need to take this inspector course. I need to do more. So what I always encourage people is take advantage of the opportunity to come and take the class for free. The only thing that I ask is that when you come or want to come, 
contact us and make sure that there's room in the class because we do have to put limits on how many what we call redos can be in a class because the instructors get paid based upon head count but here's the thing I'm going to ask you to bring your books and your tools and I'm also going to ask you to be a big brother and big sister to the other students in the class because you're going to see things and understand things because you've been out there and been experiencing them with this last year and it may be you're sitting next to somebody that needs a little bit more clarification and you might be the one that can say it and do it differently than I did and make it work make them understand so I'm gonna ask you to be the big brother big sister when you come and do your redo okay so mr. Henderson I, I apologize if we've seemed to go on long but I just I need people to understand there is hope and there's opportunity but sometimes we've got to step out of our comfort zone I want to encourage people to do that because I believe if you look at something like this this might just be the answer that you're buying the right rig the right vehicle that's going to pull it with or right motorhome but also you're getting the right information and please folks please dig into this material that work camper news has if it had not been for that the Coopers wouldn't be where we are now because they answered so many questions for me I thought I understood RV because I understood the technical there's so much more and they can and they've got these courses they've got this information so that way you don't get misinformation but you get the straight stuff that you need so you get the right answer so you can enjoy the lifestyle as you travel on the highway awesome job mr cooper they definitely got their money's worth for the five elements that you were talking about today i want to thank you very much for taking the time to go in depth into the uh I would say literally to the very specifics about a lot of things they need to be very aware of. So we appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining Thanks, us. And we will see all of you down the road. Thank you. Thank you, folks. We'll see you in class. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Great job. Fantastic job. Thank you for taking the time to share with us about the five things that we need to understand before we go about buying an RV. Folks, we need you to develop a confidence, a confidence that's going to give you power, that's going to allow you to make a wise consumer purchase decision. So please take the time to get yourself educated. Go visit our website at www.nrvta.com, that's the National RV Training Academy, to learn how you can get involved in training that's going to allow you to improve your knowledge base. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Cooper, for the great job. And we'll look forward to seeing you all down the road. This is Steve Anderson for Work Camper News. Thank you.